So the first step is to fill the reservoir. And this is pretty much a very straightforward process. You take your vial of insulin, remove that little tab, and then we're gonna push the reservoir on top of the vial. It's that easy. Then we're gonna flip it over so that the vial is on top, and we're gonna push the plunger rod on the bottom. Then you'll let go of that plunger, and you'll pull it down to the amount of insulin you want in the reservoir. Now what we have to do is disconnect it from the vial. And this step is pretty easy. Turn it and pull it away, just like that. Put the reservoir into the pump. It's so easy because the pump tells you what to do. Now the pump is telling me that I have to fill the tubing. Hold the ACT button down to fill the tubing. And I'll know when to stop when I see little droplets of insulin coming out of the infusion set. All right, so once we have the quick set and the quick serter, we're gonna remove the tape so it sticks to your body. Remove the needle guard. And then now we're gonna put it in my friend the belly. So we just set the quick serter here on the belly. Hit two white buttons. Remove the needle, which collapses together. And my friend the belly is all set up with his very first quick set. Grab your serter and it goes straight over the top and pull straight up. Now I've got my sensor in the serter. I don't have to look at a needle or don't see anything. It's ready to go. We're gonna go about two inches away from the infusion set. Place it down. So you wanna remember two button presses. So I press one to release it and then wait for five seconds. Press it again and then release up. So all you need to do from here is pull the top. All right, and now we're all set. We have got our infusion set and our sensor. The very last step to connect this whole system is to include the Minilink transmitter to the sensor. We want to make sure that the Inlight sensor is secure. So I'm going to grab the Minilink transmitter off the charger. I'm going to snap just a quick, a quick little slide the transmitter onto the sensor. And you want to wait for a confirmation on your Minilink transmitter to make sure it's reading. And this last little flap to secure the transmitter goes right over the top. All right, so now I'm all connected. I have my Minilink transmitter reading my sensor glucose values and my infusion set, which is delivering insulin.